Hello! Welcome to another episode of Todd Plays Video Games. Today, I'm gonna... we're back to Space Simulation Toolkit, because this game is a lot of fun to just mess around in, and I have an idea... oh, you know what? This is gonna be too big. What about something like this? Okay, so I have an idea. I want to try to create a boiler. So like in a steam engine, you'd have water at the bottom and it boils and then it goes to the top and it cools and comes back down and boils and goes back up and create it circulates, creates a, a, a circulation. And so that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping to do. Uh, and we're going to we're going to see we're going to see how this how this works. So first I'm putting in some metal and I hit the draw pinned button. And so we're going to cut out, this is where we're going to put the water to boil. This will be the boiler itself. And then you would have a condenser and a cooler, I guess. So that's going to be kind of all this. Now, in theory, up here should be cool enough, the air should be cool enough up there to let things uh, cool down and even freeze. Okay, so what if we do like that? And then we do like that. And we're going to have trouble because the water is going to... Oh boy, it's going to be... Uh, this is this is quite an experience. Okay, now uh, an experiment. Now I turned off the draw pinned. Oh, but it's paused right now. Okay, so we can put some water in here. And let's grab some gravity... Kind of put the gravity right down here. We could cheat. Whoops! Oh no, oh no, oh no. I didn't mean to put all that water out there. Oh boy. I guess there's going to be a little water outside of this, the, the system. Uh, we could grab the gravity. We could kind of scooch the gravity over a little more towards where the boiler is supposed to be. So uh, that's fine. Boop. And let's, let's clean up this excess water that got out here. Okay, so... We've got some water. Now, I wonder, does it get cold enough up here to freeze? Yeah, it does. See? You can see when we when water is up here on the top, it's slowly turning into ice. So that's how cold it gets up there. So maybe what we should do... Oh, 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 what a... Well, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I just, uh, I wanted to, oh boy, I wanted to make this kind of go up here a little bit longer, I wanted it to spend more time up at the top, and I, I guess because I was adding pinned metal while the simulation was live, it, um, it did not like that at all and it created a lot of heat okay so i paused it i fixed it i think i fixed it and we've unpaused it <clears throat> we've got some hot spots but things seem to be working um and this is the problem we're going to have because this is supposed to be where it, i guess this is where it would condense although that's not very it's not very dense is it maybe it needs to be more dense Okay, well, let's see how this goes. This is going to be a lot of trial and error anyway. Let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of some of this water because I feel like we've got too much water in the system. It's going to be very fiddly getting exactly the right amount of stuff and in the right place and everything. Let's go ahead and put a sun. Um, let's put it kind of near the bottom because in theory... You'd be heating things from below. So there, we've got the sun object creating heat. And you can see the, the heated water is pushing up through the system. So this is exciting. But it's not quite getting over, it's not quite getting over the hump, is it? Okay, well, maybe we need to make it a little bit easier. Okay. 
Come on. Come on. Or maybe we need to make it a little bit hotter, or maybe we need to adjust the amount of water that's in the system. I don't know. There's a lot of changes we can make. But here we go. Here we go. This is working. This is working. Water gets heated up in the boiler. It is evaporating into steam or, or close. I think probably we can check. Are these water vapor? Yes, this is vapor. So it is evaporating into steam. And the steam is going up. And then up here it is cooling down and turning back into water. The water falls and then the water pressure of the water sitting over here pushes the water into the boiler where it gets heated and goes up again. So we've got it. I mean, it's not exactly perfect. I would, I, I feel like it's weird that this water is kind of stuck right here and this water is kind of stuck right here, but oh well, I mean, it's working. So that's cool. What can we do? Oh boy, I would love to try to make it spin a turbine, which is theoretically possible, but that is that is harder to do than you might think. Um, but we have a pretty good system here. Okay, let's try let's try this real quick. We're we're pinned. I'm gonna see. First, I'm going to clear all that out of the way, and then let's try that. Let's see what this does. I'm just trying to get, because there's water that's kind of stuck here that's not moving, so I wondered if something like this could help it kind of get, get going. Maybe this is too wide. That might be. Okay. Let's hold on, because all this water over here that's not moving seems like a waste. So I'm going to carve out all of this. And then everywhere that I erased everything, we're going to draw back pinned metal. So this is this is going to get very narrow right there, which is hopefully going to be okay because hopefully it's just going to shoot through that really fast and a high pressure steam. Okay, uh, unpause. Now this is okay. So we've got kind of a circular thing going on here, but it is blasting up through here. Like that is that is working and then falling down there. That's pretty fun just to watch the water, the water flow. Oh, the water is trapped here because gravity is off to the side and not directly straight down. Um, okay, well that's fine. This is working. Okay, let's, let's try to create an actual rotor. If you, if you design a steam boiler the whole point would be to put in a, a rotor and try to generate uh, electricity. And we have the tools to do that. Now we can't actually il generate electricity from this movement, but we can, we could create a turbine here, a blade for it to spin. So, okay, we're, let's unpin this. I'm gonna need to get the sizes just exactly right here. Um, Okay, so this is unpinned, and then I'll hit the pin button again. We're going to go down in here. We're going to make a little hole in it, and then we're going to shrink down one size. And that is our pinned piece. And this is, this is free moving, and then I've unpinned, so this will be free moving as well. And what if we just kind of... I gotta make sure it's the right size to go through here. I don't know if I need to curve it. I feel like it'll scoop the water up better that way. I don't know, we'll find out. If we unpause. Okay, it's very jiggly. 
but okay this uh, oh boy oh boy we got a little problem here water is building up and going this way i wonder i don't know if i if i need to have the things be like scoops that might be weird uh let's just make straight i mean a real fan blade or turbine blade would exist in three-dimensional space and it would have a, a curve to it, but I don't know what the best way to try to simulate that in two-dimensional space is. Okay, let's unpause. This, this is looking better. Okay, this is, this, it is spinning. It is spinning. Oh, no, we just had some trouble there where water water kind of back backfilled, I guess. Oh, and now and now none of the blades are in where the water is. Ah, jeez. Okay, so now if we do like this. Come on, come on. And then we, and now we've got water flowing up the wrong way. I don't know what the best way to fix this is. Maybe, okay, let's, oh, I, that was not pinned. So in theory, this could be a problem. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm pinned now. Let's see if, if this helps any. And then, okay, let's pause it. And in theory, I mean, this needs to be far enough out to get stuck, right? But then again, oh, and that's pinned. Oh, boy. Guys, being able to pin stuff is really cool, but you really got to pay attention to when you're pinned and when you're not pinned. Okay, th get out of here, water. You're in the wrong place. Okay, jeepers, creepers. Okay, we're unpinned, so. Come on. Right, it's not unpinned. Is some part of this pinned still, maybe? It sure seems like part of that is pinned because it, it uh, yeah okay let's delete all of this let's delete all of that too okay boy and let's and we are not pinned we're just gonna go out like that oh man okay but we're moving we're moving we got a lot of backwash there Backwash, that's probably the right way to phrase that. But we are we are getting some movement. Sometimes the blades don't reach far enough out. I wonder if I can fix that by doing something like this. But I don't want to encourage any more of that backwash either. So, oh, and none of this was pinned, but I did want this pinned. Ah, jeepers. Jeez. Okay, we're pinned. We're pinned. I just want it to shoot down like that. Okay. That's all pinned. Oh, so hopefully the water is going to get, build up some pressure here and shoot through here at a high speed and spin the turbine. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, come on. This, this, this backwash is killing me. Okay. Maybe, maybe this would help. Come on, come on, come on. Turn the right way. And I, I really need these. Okay, we are not pinned good. To be about as far out as they possibly can. Come on, don't break apart. Jeez, get all this water, get out of here. I know I'm cheating. If this is real life, I couldn't just make this water disappear, but whatever. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, no, this I want pinned. I caught it early that time. Okay, this I want pinned. Can I? Jeez, oh, I mean, if I... How do I design this so it doesn't go in there? Maybe if we do like a little... I 
I don't know. Again, I'm trying to make a little like scoop. So it just kind of goes whoop. Would that, is that anything? Let's find out. Let's unpause it. We'll find out. Come on. Oh, maybe this is too big. Maybe, maybe this is too big. Is this too big? Come on. Why? Oh my God. It really wants to go the wrong way. <laughs> Jeez. It's, why is it going the wrong way? Well, now we've got, now we've got a whole different problem. Now we've got a different problem. There's not enough water pressure in here to push things through in the right direction. So it's going the wrong way because water is, steam is coming up this way. Oh boy, and water is stuck up here and getting turned into ice. Oh my goodness, everything is terrible. Maybe that's because I've taken so much water out of the system. So we're going to put some new water in here which is going to make more water turn into steam. But now that this is frozen, that seems like that's going to, oh my goodness, that's going to clog up the whole system. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to grab, M I don't know what MFP stands for, but it, it means pushing. So we're going to use that. We're basically like a clogged toilet. We're going to, we're going to try to unclog all this ice. We're going to push it through with the plunger. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the whole thingamajig is breaking. But now, water can move. So steam is moving through this again. And it looks like we're going the right direction there. Would you stop wibbly wobbling around and just, and just spin? Just spin. Just spin? Come on. Oh boy, okay. This making the I knew I knew this was going to be the hardest part when I started this video I didn't even I was I wasn't even going to try because I knew this was going to be hard why why with no blades it's still spinning but in the wrong direction it's crazy okay see now this looks great we've got a very steady flow of water whoosh right in there so we could do like oh this I want this to be pinned though so okay so I could do this I could do this and then that means our blades can only be this long though okay so this is this is this is bad I got to make sure if I delete too much water I got to re-add it but okay so if I do this if I do this I feel like it's gonna be too long and break off okay Let's do like so. Okay. And then while this is here, ah, oh jeez, okay. So then this should be here. This is probably too long. This should be here, okay. And then and this should be here. Oops. Oh, and all of this was pinned. Oh, I don't want my blades to be pinned. Oh, my goodness. I've so got to remember that. I've so got to remember that. Okay. We are not pinned. Okay. What if I just do like a simple, like, triangle type shape? Instead of trying to get all fancy. Okay. That might be too big. I don't know. Okay, uh, unpausing in three, two, one. Move, move, darn it. Ah, something must be pinned or it would be moving. What if I grab the drag tool and, oh yeah, something is definitely. <sighs> okay, unpinned. Let's go. I like that star design. I think that star design is, is, is solid. Unpause. Boy, it's still not moving. Did I, I'm gonna, did I pin something very seriously? Oh boy. Jeez, yeah, I I pinned something that should not have been. Okay. Well, this kind of stinks because I had I had a perfect little circle the way I did it the first time. I guess I could. 
Okay, we're unpinned. I guess I could just make the whole thing over again from scratch. But I'm too lazy to do that. What about this? Does this work? Basically. Okay, okay. That, that'll basically work. And what if we make it a little bit smaller? Okay. And, oh boy, you know what? Okay, let's, let's, oh, and this does need to be pinned. So we're going to, we're going to send this out like this. Okay, we're going to try this again. want to make sure. And now we're getting, we're getting spill back. Not as much though. Whew. Okay, water is still moving around, moving and flowing around. Now let's get real fancy. We're not pinned, so that's good. This is the ugliest ever but hopefully it'll work it doesn't need to look good it just needs to be functional jeez well what if i uh kind of give it a little start here okay uh... i mean it's moving but i think it's moving largely because of the push i gave it Well, it is still going. And oh, no, and now we're going backwards. It really wants to go backwards. Okay. I'm going to kill all of this. Let's take a second and just make sure that everything is still working correctly in the boiler here and think it over. Well, one thing I could do, I mean, I have to carve out a space to put all of the moving parts, but at this point we don't need all these cavities like we can simplify it a little bit by saying this is this is the path it's going over why is it getting stuck there yeah it's getting all clogged up maybe maybe it needs that extra space or maybe I've changed the ratio of water to not water. Let's, what if we put gravity directly under it? Because I feel like this stuff is getting caught up maybe because it's trying to go back that way. Mmm, jeepers. And then it's it's clogged too, it's, it's staying too long and getting clogged up here. Oh, okay, let's take a plunger to it oh man this is really getting in the way okay now we're starting to get enough water pressure here to push everything through where it can get heated and go up again so this is starting to work again what if I do like that? We got some heat here. That's probably from my construction of things. And maybe I've made this too narrow. I keep tinkering with things. And I, I sometimes wonder if my tinkering is making things better or worse. Okay, now we've clogged, unclogged that. Look at that. That's flowing pretty good, but now, why are you all stuck here? <laughs> come on, go on down. And maybe because it's hot, and it's, so it's wanting to go back up again? It is moving, but now we wouldn't really... I mean, I guess we could have a turbine still, but 
is moving so slow. I wish I could, I wish it was going faster. And maybe that's just because of all the stuff I've deleted. Maybe that was a mistake. All right, how's that? And if we increase the cavity here, that gives us more room to, for water to build up water pressure to keep pushing through here. Okay, things are moving, things are moving. It's funny, if you follow the invention of the real-life steam engine, it was improved upon over and over and over for a very long time. It was not an invention that somebody just figured it out and made it. It was a lot of theory, a lot of hypotheticals, a lot of blueprints. And then when you got something that worked, it didn't work very well. And then people just kept making little incremental ad additions to it. They kept tinkering with it over time. Uh, a real-life steam engine is a very difficult thing to invent. I mean, nowadays you can just get the blueprints for it, I suppose, but to come up with it, to create it from scratch was very, very difficult, and a lot of different people had to work together on it. So this is working. We're getting a lot of water built up here, and then it vaporizes very quickly, it seems. Okay, so what if we do something like this. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I'm on the wrong tool. <laughs> okay, there we go. Do this, and we're going to make a perfect circle here. And this is all, I think this is from my construction. This little hot spot here is not helping us any. In fact, it might be hurting us quite a bit. Oh no, I did it again. I did it again. Okay. You have to do this while it's paused, I think is the way to go there. Spacebar pauses, FYI, in case anybody needed to know that. Okay. This looks like it's working really well now. My only problem is if I'm going to... See how the water doesn't always go in the same place. If I'm going to try to build, if I'm going to make it turn or spin some kind of a blade, I really need the water to all be going in one place, one direction. But it seems like when I restrict how much space is up here, we start to get into trouble. What is this? One little pin piece of metal, I guess. <laughs> Things are kind of bouncing off of. That's funny. But yeah, if I'm going to build a turbine, I need the water to all be going... I can't be all spread out like this. It's got to be all focused in one, one place. Okay, we are pinned. Let's do this. Try to get a, a nice focused stream. It's like pinching a garden hose, too. You know, it, it should go faster and when, if there's less room for it to move through. Oh, this is interesting. It's taking a lot of time up here to cool off, I guess. Well, that's why this is a condensing coil should be a lot bigger than this is, really. But, and a lot of times they'll be like in an S shape or something crazy like that. But, okay. What if we do this? But we need it to have enough room, too. Okay, so if we... Do this. Is this going to keep working or is this going to be a problem? I mean, it, it looks like it's working. It looks like everything's moving. We've got a good amount of room up here. Okay, and let me put some water back in the system because I've Oh, but it shouldn't be pinned water. Oh, pinned water is crazy. Okay, there's put some water back in the system. 
because I think I, I probably lost some when I was doing all this work and deleting things. Let's see if we can just give it a little bit of a push. How that how it responds to that. So we got more water over here than we, we have over here now. Oop. And this is now getting very full. Oh, so many little things to tinker with. Okay, but let's try building our turbine again. Whew. Okay, this is this is we're gonna try this one more time because boy, would it be cool if we could because what, what's the point of a, a steam boiler and everything if you're not spinning a turbine, right? Spinning a turbine is the whole reason to do it. Okay. Oh, but I don't want this one part to be pinned. Okay, so we are unpinned. And we're going to do... Would it be better to go on this side? Would there be less chance of backwash if I was over here? I don't know. Okay, let's go right here. And now we'd want this part to be pinned. So we're gonna go down in here. We're gonna delete a little circle. Go, whoops. Oh, geez. Go down a little size, one size smaller. This part is pinned, and now this part is not pinned. And this part needs to, okay. And this part needs to reach out into where the water is. And then can I make Part of my problem, I feel like, is that this is not perfectly symmetrical, you know, because I'm eyeballing everything. I feel like this needs to be perfectly balanced, and it's not with me just, just guessing, but this might work. Let's see. If it doesn't shake itself to pieces, um, okay, we're starting to get that backwash. But it is going, it is going in the right direction boy it's not going very well though is it it's moving so slowly but it is spinning i mean it is it is spinning oh boy i it's so slow i'm constantly expecting it to stop <laughs> but it, it keeps going it keeps going Oh my goodness. So how is the greater device working? Now that this is because we've we've added this device here that's gonna slow down the amount of water that can move through the system. I feel like I don't know this for sure, but it seems to me like water in in this area around where the the turbine is 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 filling up faster than we it really should be <laughs> uh, I feel like the system is just not moving as much as we would want it to because this water is definitely rising so why is it not moving faster well I mean I've restricted a lot of motion over here so maybe it needs some more room for evaporated water to um, flow through here. It's not really getting stuck here though, is it? We could make this more room. We could make this more room. I mean, we still want the actual where it shoots out here to be small but we can give it more space. Oh no, I've done something that's causing this to not work as good now. It went backwards there for a little bit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why is it? You've obviously got a lot of water over on this side. Of course, I mean, it's not like these are perfect circles either. But come on, you got all this water over here. Why is it not enough to push it down? Oh boy, now we can see we're getting a big back backlog here. As this gets more backlogged, it should build up more pressure and go through here more quickly, which should give us enough to push this thing down, I would think. Hmm. 
when's the best way to fix this? Maybe the best way to fix it. This, this water level has gone down, so that's good. Maybe the best way to fix it is to just give it more time. Maybe the best way to fix it is to give it a little more like that. Maybe we need to squeeze this a little bit more. Oh, this wasn't pinned. Oh, well, it'll be fine. And make it hit the very tippy top here. I'm not sure it's going as much faster as I need it to. So maybe the solution is to just open up more space so we can get a greater volume going all at once. Come on. If this was wider, oh, okay, maybe I need it to shoot down over here so it's getting more of the, more of the water on the thing. Oh man, why won't you turn? Well, maybe I need to give it a little a little kickstart. Oh geez, that'd be tough. Just gonna manually give it a little a little pull. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, the wibbly wobbly device is, is it's rotating, but I don't know how much of that is because of the water and how much of that is because of what I did. This is oh man. Everything I do makes little changes. Every little change I make. I feel like make significant large level changes to the rest of the system. But, I mean, this is... We basically built a steam engine here. I mean, it's not perfect. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, want, I wouldn't run out and patent this and, and make my millions off of, off of this design. But this is a functioning steam engine that's moving a rotor and everything and that's that's pretty cool so i'm gonna call this a success yeah it's still it's still moving i was worried it was about to stop moving it's still going it's still going so yeah this is a success we built a crude virtual imaginary <laughs> steam engine in space simulation toolkit because this game is a neat little playground that you can build actual things oh don't pay any attention to the fact that the turbine's going backwards it's gonna fix itself soon probably anyway thanks for watching my completely totally successful uh video of me building a completely super successful steam turbine <laughs> <laughs> we'll play again soon. Thank you and good night.